An aquatic mechanical design presentation. Commercial public swimming pools in most jurisdictions are regulated by building department and health safety officials. Whether it is a new pool construction or remodeling project, plans and product specifications must be produced that exhibit the intended approach for meeting compliance with current building codes. Our approach to facilitating this mandate is to organize our plans in a checklist fashion that can mirror the Agency of Submissions guidelines, thus following the procedural order. It is our experience that in outlining the necessary information in this way, it allows agency officials to more easily review the plans and expedite their approval. In moving further into our sheets of planning, we provide a numeric assignment to the plan legend with the associated symbols for each of the code section's specific components. Additionally, under each assignment, we refer to the specific sheet page and detail number where the information can be found deeper in the plan set. The detail references offer the further explanations for the many elements and considerations, such as hydraulic operation compliance, dimensional conformity, installation procedures, manufacturer's recommendations, and recognition by ANSI, NSF, and UL listing certifications for performances that meet the VGBA as required. Other information is also required such as indicating on the plans the calculations for the total dynamic head on the system under operational conditions. This is also known as the TDH. This process requires measuring each length of specific size pipe run, each and every fitting, all valves, and each piece of equipment, and then at the designated flow rate verifying that the pressure losses within the system are at the acceptable limits. We have discovered that gaining approval can be much more easily accommodated if we call out the intentions for compliance by the numbers. When suction and return lines are drawn on a plan showing the intentions for routing, inclusive of angle changes in directions and T's or cross intersections, well then, the maximum flow velocity can easily be cross-referenced with the designated pipe sizes and required turnover rates by the plan checkers and authenticated as meeting the accepted limits for both pools and spas. Meeting compliance shall also involve producing plans that show the electrical, bonding, and lighting system. The plans must exhibit how GFCI protection, emergency spa shutoff, power disconnect switching, and deck lighting systems are to be accomplished in meeting code requirements. Additionally, a dimensionally accurate equipment schematic must show every piece of equipment on the pad together with a listing of each product number, model, and manufacturer. This also involves ADA requirements for lift chairs, restroom facilities, and equipment enclosures, gates, and doors, access to the pool and spa areas. In order to make a smooth transition from plan check review to final approval, the plans must anticipate the questions and provide the answers to the many questions about pumping, filtering, sanitizing, automation, lighting, decking accessories, signage, and utility services. We are hopeful that this presentation has exposed you to the world of critiquing eyes that are involved in gaining approval for compliant commercial public swimming pool plans and specifications, and that it has also introduced you to us as a resource for the avenue of approach from our services. If you are planning to build a new or remodeled old pool, be it indoor, competition, or recreational swimming pool, water feature, or in-ground spa. We are here to serve your needs. Please give us a call and we will be happy to discuss your project. Thank you.